Hi, this is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery, and we're in Mesa today. It's January 25th, 2018, and what we're looking at is a classic case of Aleppo pine blight. Opinions vary on the cause of this affliction, but the symptoms of this condition are easy to spot. The symptoms usually occur in the upper part of the tree around Thanksgiving but the damage was done several months earlier in the hot dry summer. Needles turn gray, then brown, but continue to cling to the plump, healthy branches until normal seasonal needle drop occurs in the summer. Twigs and branches may die. Water-soaked cankers can appear on the branches, which may split. Other disease organisms may invade the tree but they're not the cause of the blight. The sun exposed sides are the most affected. The cause, according to the Maricopa County Cooperative Extension, is thought to be induced by the day-night temperature extremes on tender, actively growing sections of the tree, or the drought stress. They suggest that maintaining good watering practices and nitrogen fertilizer may prevent Aleppo pine blight. Moderately affected trees will recover and have normal refoliation in the spring. Injury tends to reoccur on severely damaged trees and sadly permanent damage is possible. Some of the researchers at ASU think a small mite may be involved with the condition. Perhaps the controversy is best summed up by the folks at Artistic Arbors, who state on their website that Aleppo pine blight has no known biological cause, and the tree owners notice problems with their Aleppo pines beginning about Thanksgiving. But in January, the problem becomes very severe. It is especially prevalent on old established trees that have high dollar values. Young trees appear to be resistant to the blight. It also appears occasionally on other pine trees, particularly the Canary Island pines. But the problem is most prevalent on the Aleppo pines. Why? No one knows. So what can the cause be? Some experts suspect a bacteria-like organism that is responsible for ash decline. Or perhaps it's the fungus that has been isolated from the roots on some affected trees. Perhaps the trees are deficient in some type of mycorrhizal fungus that leads to the plugging of the xylem vessels that lead to the blighted stems. Who knows? and some suspect mites that have been found on affected branches. Almost everyone believes that water stress plays into this condition. On the subject of water stress, you should look at watering non-native trees on this website. So when treating for this condition, I like to cover all of the possible bases. First, get the water right. Follow the recommendations on this site for watering non-native trees. Next, fertilize with a product like Kellogg's Garden Organic Fruit and Tree Fertilizer that is enhanced with beneficial microbes and mycorrhizal. You can get it at Home Depot. Three, introduce an insecticide like Bear Advanced Tree and Shrub which will take care of many insect problems. You can also get this at Home Depot. Finally, have us out to treat your pines to hopefully accelerate the healing process. For more information, please go to my website on pine tree disease. The address for that website should be coming up now on the video. Well, that's about it. Uh, I hope this has helped. 
This is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. If you have any questions, give us a call. The number is 480-969-8808. Thank you and goodbye.